the FBI, there has been over $37 billion lost to financial fraud in the last five years. Our Chase Campbell talked to a local expert about identifying and avoiding scams. Financial fraud is a serious issue in the Mid-Ohio Valley. There are numerous people in the Mid-Ohio Valley that have been subject to financial fraud whether it's from telephone, from the internet, text messages, or even someone coming to their door. That's Jeff Sandy, the former West Virginia Secretary of Homeland Security and a retired law enforcement officer with decades of experience combating financial crime. Sandy says scammers often pose as a loved one in need. In one case, I received a, a telephone call from an individual, and they stated that their grandson had been arrested and was at North Central Regional Jail. The grandson was not there. And I immediately got back to this individual and they were in, at line at Walmart to buy a Western Union money order to send to make their grandson's bond, which was not needed. A scammer might also make an offer that's too good to be true. Regardless of the form a scam takes, Sandy says people need to tread cautiously and think critically to avoid becoming victims. When I started at the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center, a former judge uh, said, if you remember the following, you will have a successful career. And he says, remember who, what, where, when, how, why. Why would they call me? Who are they? You know, et cetera. Those things, if you think of that, just think, is it too good to be true? It's probably not. Because scams frequently target the elderly, Sandy says it's also important to maintain good communication with aging family members and help make sure they don't become victims. Maintain an open dialogue, especially as your parents get older, your grandparents get older. Maintain that dialogue. And, you know, you don't want to be... Um, treating them like a child, but you want to say, if something comes up, you know, let us know. It's also important for people to avoid sharing too much personal information on the internet or even in some place that seems innocuous, like an obituary. One of the things that they look for is on your obituaries. Okay? It's important to l limit the information that you have on your obituary so the individual cannot determine where you live and your children, et cetera. If you do become a victim of financial fraud, Sandy says it's essential to inform law enforcement right away, especially the FBI's Internet Crime Complaint Center, or IC3. Do not feel embarrassed. So many people, they get defrauded and they hold it in to themselves. They, they don't want people to make fun of them for that they believed in something. If something happens to you, call law enforcement. The Internet Crime Complaint Center can be found online at ic3.gov. In Vienna, Chase Campbell, WTAP News.